Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. Today I'm back with another haul video. I just got home, as you can tell by the change in filming location, and so I've gotten all of the sets that I've been buying since like February and sending home to show you guys. So I'm going to start off with some of the really small stuff first. Over here, I've just got a bunch of like little poly bag things. I got a powered up light for my motorized train, a bunch of these um, extra dots from series three and four, and I did get the new Rapunzel's boat poly bag because I think it's a pretty cool set. I've also got my Ninjago Bricktober packs finally. This one was in a previous haul and I did have to repurchase the 2018 version because the seller never sent it to me. But so I'm really excited to finally open and review these because they've got some pretty awesome figures. And continuing the figure packs, I've got the new Spider-Man vs. Venom and Iron Venom, which includes the Pork Grind figure. I also got the new DC pack, Batman vs. Penguin and Harley Quinn, which has an exclusive Batman and a harder-to-find Harley Quinn figure. And then I also went ahead and got the Monkey Kid pack, the RC Race, which has this really awesome new torso print. I also got two of these. These are six pack boxes of the new Looney Tunes minifigures. I haven't taken them out of the box because I do want to do an opening, but you can buy packs of six for around $30. And Lego says that there will be six different figures. So I'm hoping I have a complete series here, although that's probably a long shot. I just think it's really interesting that Lego is bundling them in like these boxes of six. And I am going to change up the order of how I present my sets. So let's start going from smallest to biggest now. I did get the brand new Ninjago City Garden set. I'm super excited to build this. I bought it when it released in January, but I went home a couple days. Sorry, I went back to school a couple of days before it came out, so I wasn't able to build it. So I'm super excited to finally get into this one. And next up, we have the 2021 Modular Building Police Station. I don't even know if I have room for this in my city. I might have to change some of my layout, but this is a very cool set. It's like the second biggest modular that LEGO has ever made after Assembly Square, which I also still have not built yet. So I'm really excited to get into this one. And continuing my direct-to-consumer exclusives, I did get the new Space Shuttle Discovery set. I was on the fence about this one, but you know what? I do have the Saturn V and I do like Space Shuttles. So I thought I, was, I, I thought I might as well pick it up and get it because I did get the brand new Ulysses Space Probe set with it. So I was lucky enough to get one of these codes when like the whole VIP meltdown was happening the day this released. And I'm really glad I got one. But you will notice that the box is all ripped, which is pretty disappointing because this is a super hard to find collector's item. And I don't even know how it got this badly damaged. It's scuffed up on the corner, but like this rip is just truly bad. And so that was kind of disappointing because I wanted to keep this brand new and sealed for my collection. So I contacted customer service and I thought that they were sold out of these things because they were gone in like half an hour. But customer service sent me a second replacement Ulysses Space Probe because my first one had a damaged box. That was really nice of them. I did not think that that would happen. But to me, like, I'm wondering if there are if they have more of these in stock and they're just not releasing them to the public because this thing was supposed to have been sold out in like 30 minutes. So who knows like how many more they're just sitting on. And then I did get another set I'm very excited about from Monkey Kid, the Legendary Flower Fruit Mountain set. This set is really, really cool. And again, this is a direct to consumer Lego exclusive. I wanted to buy it at school in Canada, but it's just so expensive there. It's like 250 US. This thing costs 170 at retail. And this just looks like a gorgeous display piece. I love all of the minifigures. I don't know where I'm gonna display it, but I'm definitely really excited to build it. And continuing with one-off sets from other themes, I did get the Hidden Side Mystery Castle. This was a great find because this was sold out everywhere just like two months after release. And now the cheapest one on Bricklink in the U.S. costs like 250 U.S. dollars. This was a $100 set. All of the Hidden Side last theme or last wave was retired after like two months, which really sucks. But I'm super glad I was able to get this. I got it from um, Zavi.com. They're a U.K. retailer, which is why there's no piece count. But I got this for about 110 or 120 U.S. dollars. So I'm really glad I managed to get this one. I did get the Ideas Winnie the Pooh set as well. This one's really cool, but you know, I've seen a lot of people say that they don't really feel like it's worth the $100. 
And based on the box size alone, I definitely don't feel like it's worth $100 because this is like a $50 box size and it's pretty heavy, but like this is just a much smaller impact than I was expecting for such a big set. So I really hope I'm not disappointed by the size of the finished product. All right, so getting into some smaller sets now, I did get the Ideas Gift with Purchase car set. Very happy about this as well because I was like a couple cents short of the threshold and they were sold out of this promo very quickly in January, but I contacted customer service and they said, oh, we'll create a back order for you and you'll get it in February. So I'm really happy this got back in stock because I love this car, especially the color scheme, and I definitely would have paid the $20 for it on BrickLink if I wasn't able to get it. And I did get another gift with purchase set as well, the Easter Bunny Carrot House. This one is, again, a really great free set, and I just, I really like Lego seasonal sets. I'm honestly kind of surprised that this wasn't sold as just like a regular $10, $15 set to the masses. I also got this Ninjago Fire Fang set. This is definitely the odd one out here because all of the other sets I've gotten are from 2021, except for that hidden side one. But this was because I just, I wanted to get this set, and so I just finally bit the bullet on it. But I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. I'm probably going to build it and then decide. Um, but I don't know, I'm just kind of having a little bit of buyer's remorse here, even though I do think that it's a really cool build. I did get the brand new May the 4th Tatooine Homestead set as well. I love collecting these little dioramas, so I'm very happy I managed to get this one, although I do not like that gifts with purchase thresholds have been increased to $85 from $75 this year. I don't really understand that jump. And to buy that, I did get the new Darth Vader helmet set. You'll be seeing a lot of helmet sets in this haul. But I think that this is like the best Star Wars one of these that they've made. And, you know, Darth Vader is one of like the only characters I really care about from Star Wars. So I'm pretty excited to get this one built as well. All right. And now it's superhero time because I did finally get most of the Marvel sets from the Winter Wave that I missed out on. Do not mean for that to be upside down. So I did get the three mech sets here. The only ones I weren't able to get were the March sets just because I'm still waiting on a sale for those. Um, so I'm missing the Spider Lair and um, the Iron Man versus Thanos set, but I will get those eventually. Here we have the Sandman set. This is just a little 4 plus set, but I do really like that Sandman minifigure. And of course, I want the printed arms off of that Spider-Man. Was super excited for this one, the brand new Ghost Rider set. The car is a lot blockier than I expected, but the new Robbie Reyes Ghost Rider is amazing. I just wish that there was a villain other than Carnage. I really think Quake should have been in this set and Ghost Rider should have been the villain. And then we have this Mysterio set with the monster truck. Again, I only really care about the minifigures here. I'll probably end up selling off the truck just because I don't care about that build at all. I was just waiting for a sale on this one because that Mysterio figure is incredible. And this is a much thicker box than I was expecting. It's like gigantic. I feel like it must be because of the wheels. Lego barely advertised these next sets, but I'm pretty happy that um, I got them on release. They're the new Shang-Chi sets, so I got Escape from the Ten Rings and Battle at the Ancient Village, which is a very tiny box. Like, putting it next to the, the $30 Ten Rings box, this is like a $20 set box, which I'm shocked at because I'm pretty sure that that dragon is like a foot long. So to squeeze it into such a small box, it's like the Winnie the Pooh set. Like, you just don't feel like you're getting your money's worth when you're buying it on the shelf. So I feel like that's kind of an odd choice. I did get the brand new classic TV series Batmobile, very excited for this one. This is honestly like one of the best $30 superhero sets I think LEGO has ever made. And I do have the original Batmobile from the 1966 Batcave set. So I'm pretty excited to be able to do a comparison on that because I think that that's something a lot of people want to see. And I think I'll also be comparing it to the limited edition 1989 one because they have the same style of stand. And then last up, we do have the rest of the helmets. I got the Batman cowl. I know I said I wouldn't pay full price for it. I did pay full price for it. Um, I kind of regret it because I really do not think it's worth the $60. That's definitely going to come up in my review. But I just didn't want to wait like four months to get $10 off of this set. I'd rather just have like all of the helmets now, um, which might not be a good choice because it's better to save money in the long run. But I mean, I just, I mean, I, I want to see what it's all about and see like just how overpriced it really feels. And then as for the other helmets, I did get Carnage. Very excited about this one. And I got Venom. They're pretty much the same build, but I do like the Carnage one a little bit better. And again, we'll see if I feel like those are overpriced. Um, but I do really like the helmets as a concept. I just, again, I wish that they would change the prices between like these superhero ones the way that they do for the Star Wars ones. 
All right, well, that pretty much does it for this haul. Um, you, know, you can see I've stacked everything up. It barely fits. This was definitely a really big one, but I'm super excited to get into this stuff and start building and reviewing it. I've still got a lot of reviews to upload that I filmed like a month or two ago, but I'm very excited to get into all of the new stuff too. So comment below and let me know what you guys want to see first. I've really got my eyes on the Batmobile, the Shang-Chi sets, and then the new helmets, but let me know if there's something you'd rather see me cover first. So that's it for today. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will be seeing you guys with all of these reviews and unboxing videos very soon. Bye for now.